when it comes to Adam, I think he lives and, and breathes, you know, Seton Hall basketball. I think he has a terrific basketball mind. Every shot, every practice, uh, he takes it to heart because he wants to see us win. You, know, you see leaders and you see followers in this world, he's a leader. Hi. I'm Adam Sat, said I'm a senior here at Seton Hall University. And I just want America to know that you might not think I'm the best manager, but you can't deny that I'm the best looking manager in the country. I love his sense of humor. You know, you can't walk into a room without him, you know, busting your chops. What are you doing here? It's a little early for you. It's before 2 o'clock, my man. I definitely feel like I have to work harder than anybody else in order to show that, you know, hey, you need to take me seriously, and I can really help what we're trying to do here. He's going to stay up and go break down the different tendencies that different players have. I mean, that's, that's just an unbelievable trait that he has. If you don't take me seriously, you're going to regret it because I'm going to help somebody else. I think his work ethic is second to none. The guy's like a computer genius, recruiting, expense reports. I mean, my man leaves no stones unturned. He's almost an assistant coach because he's in here and he helps with every aspect of the program. All the, all the opportunities that we create, all the turnovers we get, we get back on the board. Adam doesn't just help the program, he inspires the program. I, I wouldn't say I'm an inspiration, but I feel like for me, my role is to come into work with a positive attitude. You know, he's the one that tells me every day, you know, you got to stay positive, coach. You have to. You have to stay positive. You know, you forget he's a full-time student. You know, in everyone's eyes here, he's a member of the staff. But somehow he still has like a 3-6. Stay you on know, the deeds list throughout my stay here. The ongoing joke is that we don't think he actually goes to school here. He just works here. Sometimes I say, you know, how was class? And he gives me that look like uh, it was a pretty good coach. When Adam leaves next year, it's not just one kid that's going to, you know, step in for him. I'm going to have to find two or three kids. Those are not my words. I, I feel like the program would run. I don't know if it would be as effective. I don't really understand how they could go by in Seton Hall without relying on Adam. And he truly does make people around him better. Being born with cerebral palsy, I feel like um, it was very important that my parents, you know, from a young age, would say, don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do something you know you can do. I feel like that's a big reason why I, I am where I am today. And that's going to be a big part of me going where I want to go in the future. When you do become, you know, the head of the operation, will I be part of your staff, little man? I'll always take care of you, coach.